Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Robert Cuccioli is returning to the New York stage in a new production of Joe Pintero's drama, Snow Orchid. Under the direction of Valentina Frati, it begins performances on February 3rd at the Lion Theater, located on Theater Row. And we drop by the rehearsal room here at the Cherry Lane to meet the company and bring you a sneak peek. Tell me what it's been like for the two of you working together and collaborating on this. You know, um, when I wrote this play, it's my first full-length play, <laughs> and um, at the same time I was writing a novel, Cold Hands, which came out actually, well, the same year, actually not. No, I was writing my second novel, and uh, it, it was kind of difficult. Uh, my second novel was called State of Grace, but... Um, but it was a, you know, it, it, it was a foolish thing to try to write both these plays, you know, both these uh, works simultaneously. And I never really felt that I was completely into this play. And so over the years, you know, since 1980, when it went to the O'Neill, um, every once in a while, I feel I come back to this play and it's like I come into a house with many rooms and I walk around and it, the character, it starts working on me all over again. I think it's even more powerful now because the tender moments and the tenderness that has been discovered between these characters just makes the anger more uh, explosive and more grounded in a way. I mean, we understand all sides of these characters and the need is, is different and, and more intense. Mm -hmm. yeah. Talk about your cast wonderful cast you put together. Uh, I am beyond ecstatic with the cast. Um, I think, you know, I have five incredible actors who are not only dedicated to the, to the play, but bring such subtlety and nuance that, I mean, I just couldn't be happier. They're just incredible talent. But I'm just hoping that it has more fire, more truth, more, um, it, that it, that it's, that they're all more sympathetic because it, it is tragic what happens to all of them. And um, it's also about war. Yeah. It's, it's about mental dysfunction and how in a family it's so disruptive and, and you know, such a burden. So uh, I hope it's all in there and um, I hope it comes across well. Oh, it will. Valentina, for you. Yeah, I, I think we forget about also the title, Snow Orchid, and what is that significance? And I think it really is, to me, and this is what I hope to, to share with audiences, the resilience of the human spirit. How do you do, Mr. Lazara? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm Vincent Dugan. You don't look it. Don't look what? Like what you are. What I am as a man, is there something wrong with the eyesight? You know what I mean. You and my son, what do you call yourselves? A couple car mechanics from Brooklyn. Just traveling with my son? We got a job at my uncle's shop in Fort Worth. My father's brother. You got some chops walking in here, you know it? I want to pay my respects. I should respect what you do, you and my son? Well, we do, we work together. How much I know, I'm talking about the rest of it. Talk to your son about the rest of it, Mr. Lazaro, but what you're asking is none of your business. Tell me what attracted you to this project. Oh, I, I looked at it, and um, it's got all these characters that at, at one time hold so much sacred, while at the same time are so irreverent for each, with each other, and, um, and volatile, really, can, can flip one way or the other at the, at the drop of a hat, really. And... Um, I, I find the project interesting because this play, which you know was first done back in the 80s, is it's really so hot right now. Everything that it talks about homosexuality, uh, domestic violence, um, uh, uh, even like xenophobia and uh, war, uh, um, so much, so many issues that cover that we're you know we, it's, it's very hot today, and so I, it's very. I'm happy to be working on this right now. Yeah. What can you tell us about the role that you play and what attracted you to him? Sure, 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 sure. Um, well, Dugan is a, he's homosexual, um, although I, I'm not sure if he would actually say that. Um, it is the 60s after all, but um, um, he's, a, he's a strong, rooted character um, who uh, has, has dealt with a lot, but um, um, 
he, I, he really comes in and uh, kind of, in a way, brings a, a, a change, a significant change to what's going on. Um, I'm really touched by the story, you know. It's about a family of people who all uh, <laughs> need a lot of love from each other but are not um, capable of offering it to each other for various reasons. And it all takes place over the course of a couple days, um, you know, when all the consequences of their, you know, past behavior kind of come to a head and uh, makes for kind of a epic family drama. Yeah. I like that a lot. And talk about the role that you play. I play Sebi, who is uh, the older son of two. Um, he uh, grew up uh, in Brooklyn and uh, his father was uh, abusive to him and his mother when he was young. Um, kind of cooled down a little bit um, when his brother was born. So I had a lot of um, a lot of anger um, and pain directed at his father and uh, frustration with his mother, who he's kind of had to take care of and um, you know be sometimes like a husband type figure to her, even though you know he has all the needs of a child. I was ask you what you love about Joe's writing and sort of where, how your character fits into this whole family. So Joe doesn't pull any punches, right? So he. He takes your character from zero to 180 in a line, and that's exciting. Also, that's part of, I guess, the Italian-American world, right? Uh, so that was very exciting. Um, and working with the cast so far, talk about them and working with your director. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> uh, they, <laughs> no, it, it's, been, it's been a really fun exploration, because Joe has updated this script, right, since you saw it at Circle Rep. And so trying to figure out what those are and how those play into the text as a whole, we've been very uh, much investigators of this new script, and it feels like working on a totally new play yeah. in a lot of ways. So uh, how long are you planning to stay? The rest of my life. This is my house, right? So that's what they did to you in the hospital? It wasn't a hospital. Later, you and me, Sabi, we'll go over the whole thing, you know? Oh, yeah. Tommy, come on, Stipe. You just still won't look at me. You look like you just got out of a concentration camp. And you look like you just got hit by an aeroplane. Oh. She ever leave the house? She stuck her head out the window. You never went. Are you going for a walk? No. I'll get you a walk. I'll take care of you for a minute. I grew up around these people. My parents were both immigrants uh, from a small town, Baiano, in the Campania region of Italy. And I think that this play is an homage to that culture that is quickly disappearing. All those people are in their 80s and 90s now, and we're losing some of that. Um, I mean, I'm grateful that my children knew my parents, uh, but I'm concerned that my grandchildren won't know that culture because it'll be gone by the time they come. And what you love about the play itself and Joe's writing? Oh, I love Joe. I love his writing. Um, I think the play is significant in that every character strives for its independence and liberation from the shackles of uh, what's expected in society at the time. And I think every character does break through there is hope at the end of the play. And uh, Joe is just a wonderful writer. He, I love these characters. Yeah. And working with this company is extraordinary. Working with Bob and Stephen and David uh, and Valentina, who I adore. Yeah. It's been a wonderful experience. Did you know the play before you started? We had done a, um, we had done a reading of it about a year and a half ago. Uh, and that was the first that I had ever seen it. <clears throat> so, uh, and there's been some changes since that. Joe's been doing a lot of work on it and uh, honing it down and really streamlining it and making the relationships really more, stand out more. Um, and it's great, I, I fell in love with it. I think it's really intense, uh, incredible piece. What can you tell us about the man that you play? What attracted you to this role and to the play itself? I love really complicated people. And, and this is a really, really complicated one. And, and uh, you know, the man has been dealing with a mental illness for, for all of his life that he never really knew. And it was just very violent, and it would come out in, in uh, manic depressive episodes. 
Um, and uh, he was finally sent to uh, 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 an institution to, and that's where he was diagnosed and, he, and they helped him and he was away from the family for a year and a half. But he created such damage to them and now he's coming back asking for redemption and, uh, and hoping for a, a new chance and start keeping the family together again. And um, it's about how they, they struggle with being able to accept him, how he struggles with his own illness. Um, it's a really, it's a really uh, challenging role and, and, um, and the relationships are really uh, intelligent and, and really um, emotionally uh, charged. And it's also an Italian-American family, which, you know, it's, it's, it's in me. You know, all these, these, these characters are in me. So it, it, I was very connected really well with it.